What's going on, my YouTube family? Welcome back, everybody. I should say good evening. It is evening out here in the woodlot, and I wanted to share 400 hour meter reading on Big Bob. Been on the job 400 hours already. Amazing. Time flies when you're having fun. And certainly, time flies having fun in one of these machines. I wanted to share with you, my friends, how much this machine has served me, how huge it's been in my operation already, besides just the big purchase and big dive into a Bobcat skid steer and also a Bobcat track machine. I wanted to also list and describe some of these advantages this track machine has been over tired machines and how both have their purposes. But nonetheless, Big Bob on the job over a year now very impressed with this machine's performance and what it has done for me so far and I still think I don't know what I have in certain opportunities on certain jobs where I use it and realize wow this machine has been absolutely just amazing for me small profile low low impact on the ground big capability machine with all this power at your hands in a smaller footprint compared to other big hunks of iron out there. This machine has been a really big advantage for the firewood lot and also with landscaping adventures, moving stone around. The list goes on, my friends, what these machines can be used Shout for. To my Bobcat of the Finger Lakes for your guys' support and giving me that comfort of making such a big purchase. What an incredible advantage this track system has been. I did not go with the roller suspension. These are just the solid bogies. Served me very well. Roller suspension maybe is just one more added part for things to go wrong. What an amazing tool and amazing machine the Bobcat T650 has been. 2020, bought it brand new last year. You guys go back into my video, Bobcat T650 delivery. I've seen this machine in many videos, including the Senior Firewood Hounds. They have a Bobcat T650, which I see Larry is out there on the job all the time with his Big Bob. Little Bob, Big Bob, now Backy. They all have their purpose out here in the woodlot. I'm gonna show and share with you guys, I have some just miscellaneous stuff kind of laying around here where I'm gonna throw the forks on Big Bob and kind of get this stuff situated and show you guys once again the advantage of having one of these machines around. And also little odds and ends here and there, spreading stone, moving material around in wet situations. The uh, track machine has served us well. Another thing is they never do justice on camera, my friends, how big these machines really are, but yet how small and compact they are. I don't know what it is. I, I can't really describe it other than when you see them in person, you kind of know what I mean. At least for me, anyhow, when it, you know, when it arrived here on the woodlot, it was way bigger than I thought. Yet now, you know, it doesn't feel as big, very comforting and very compact and maneuverable. And that's the advantage of, you know, a compact skid steer like this. But yet there has to be enough, you know, meat on the bone to be able to grunt through some of this, you know, these firewood activities and, you know, landscaping, which it, it certainly shows its true colors in that as well. And you can climb on them like a jungle gym. Kids really don't do that. situation at hand guys I have all this mess out here of random logs that are gonna be chunk logs by manual splitter and the chainsaw and other miscellaneous maybe some smoke wood logs that are some cherry that I'm gonna keep random stuff I should get out here and kind of organize this corner and make it presentable for for old angry angry tree back there 
He's not looking happy. <laughs>
firewood for a living. The thing doesn't move. Unbelievable how stable they are compared to tires. But well, I mean, tires certainly have their purposes on the hard terrain. Very impressed with tracks and the stability, how stout the machine is, the performance, how stable everything feels when you're lifting and lowering the loader. And with a bucket full of crush and run here, the thing doesn't even wiggle. size of the machine is absolutely amazing all the little bells and whistles add in you know that creature comfort which is probably unnecessary to you know maybe a lot of you guys but over the years of doing it it's nice to set yourself up of course if you can this machine was certainly a you know huge endeavor for me I've learned a lot owning it now it's a big responsibility and a different kind of matter but uh, you know, my friends, I'm very happy I've done it and it's here and it's done. And it's been talked about for many years, acquiring a track machine. I'm very happy I chose the Bobcat T650. I like all these little bells and whistles, although of course it concerns me over the years of how things are gonna last. Um, I always use it on ISO pattern, never went to H pattern, I'm not comfortable with that. Your power bob tatch being right here. Hope things are bright enough for you guys. I hope they're okay. There's your reverse fan, maintenance charts. I like when it tells you when things are due, when things are getting close. I like that it keeps track of them things because it's a good reminder. Um, I've been very impressed with the M-Series and I went with the M-Series because of how long it's been around and I didn't want to jump into a new R-Series T76 without really letting them kind of run their pace. I did make a mistake and I got the cloth seat and I should have got the leather seat I've put a seat cover over since, which works out really nice, but the dust has been just horrific with that cloth seat. Doors shut really nice. Everything stays nice and tight. Front end of the machine is all nice and tight, which it should be for only 400 hours. But once again, you know, things add up real fast with wear and tear. And especially in the firewood world, you'll kind of see weaknesses pretty fast in these machines. Just ask little Bob. He's been through a lot. Visibility is really well out the sides, my friends. Not too bad. You can you get different vantage points if you raise and lower the arms. My friends, over a year now owning this machine, I can't be any more pleased with what I have. My friends with other comparisons of Cat, Gal, a lot of other manufacturers where they've had good luck with them as well. I'm not certainly sh criticizing and shooting down other manufacturers. I chose Bobcat because of my success with them over the years and also past experience with friends owning them. That's why I went with Bobcat. Maybe in the future, who knows? But right now, Bobcat has been serving me very well and it continues to. Little Bob on the job with over 3,500 hours, just plugging along on the job. They both go together as one unit. I've been very happy and pleased to share this with you, my friends. And the 400 hours on Big Bob, <laughs> 400 hours, it's gotta go. Oh man, it's broke. No, I really get a kick out of some of these guys, my friends. It's amazing that you reach like four or 500 hours and bam, they got to get another new machine because, hey, when you're in that position, that's great. But Big Bob's going to be here for a little bit. <laughs> a little over a year, already bam, 400 hours on the machine. Thanks for joining. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are being good to each other. Be kind to each other. Even though I know it's hard, my friends, help your neighbors out, stick together. And I hope you get to see you guys on my live stream Sunday, August 8th. I hope to see a few of you there. Maybe a couple, maybe nobody. Who wants to see this Harry Wood guy mess, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Hope to see as many of you as possible. Thank you so much for your support, my friends. I love each and every one of you guys, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya!